Well, we may be a year and a half away from the 2024 presidential election, Thanks. but the battle for the Republican nomination is now on. This week, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis joined a growing list of GOP candidates, including former President Donald Trump. The governor's former ally is expected to be his biggest competition going head to head in a political showdown for the Republican nomination. News Nation's Kelly Meyer is live in DC with more on their history. Hey, Kelly. Hi there, Kelly. Yeah, quite a bit away, away from this, but I believe we're gonna be talking about these two for quite a while, especially in the weeks to come. Uh, you know, now that Ron DeSantis is the Republican presidential candidate, he seems to really not be holding back here. The gloves coming off as he starts to take on former President Trump. We've been watching him on the campaign trail, and he really has been uh, hitting at Trump, growing in these jabs, taking him on as it got closer and closer to this announcement. He wasn't even referencing him by name, but now, as we said, not holding back as he's the Republican presidential candidate here. Just in the last 24 hours, he went through this media blitz across the battleground states. Uh, and he hit at Trump for his COVID-19 response and his statements on guns and abortion. DeSantis made the argument that Trump is running to the left. And DeSantis uh, is boasting about standing firm and behind what he calls his bold policies in, in Florida and that he's ready to take that to the national stage. Now, the two used to be buddies or seemed to be, as DeSantis described himself as a pro-Trump candidate when he ran to be gover governor of Florida. And as Trump endorsed that run, saying he was going to be a, quote, great, great governor. But now DeSantis is saying those words that old friends may say to one another, quote, you've changed. I don't know what happened to Donald Trump. This is a different guy today than when he was running in 2015 and 2016. And I think, uh, I think the direction that he's going with his campaign is the wrong direction. Now, Trump has made no secret about his feelings for DeSantis. He, as we reported, he spent more on DeSantis' attack ads than he did on the 2022 midterms. And that was before DeSantis even got into the race. And now that he is, Trump is upping the ante. We saw over the last few days uh, streams of truth social posts attacking DeSantis for his glitchy Twitter rollout and drawing attention to his endorsement of DeSantis when he was running for governor. Take a listen. Ron had zero chance of winning on December 21st, 2017. A man named President Donald J. Trump endorsed in support of Ron DeSanctimonious. His polling skyrocketed, and DeSantis won the Republican primary. He did it because of President Trump. Now, DeSantis says those attacks on him from Trump are because Trump knows that only DeSantis can beat him. And now that the gloves are off, the two are comparing war chests uh, and sparring over them. DeSantis, uh, the campaign, telling News Nation that they raised more than $8 million in just the 24 hours after getting into the race. But now the Trump campaign uh, just is hitting back at DeSantis, just in the text messages I got, on the reporting that his government staff are sending text messages, not the campaign staff, but the government staff, sending text messages to Florida lobbyists, asking them to support the DeSantis campaign, financially raising ethical and legal questions. Kelly. All right. Remains to be seen how that works out. Kelly, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.